but there's no substitute for experience. For example, I doubt my opponent is familiar with Town Ordinance 26-12B. 26-12B has to do with noise pollution, something, sir, that you are guilty of right now. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't. No, Mom. Ladies and gentlemen. Look at her eyes. No, they're a little too close together. It's been bugging me for years. Oh, she's in the zone. She's ready for anything. I do like to talk about the issues. But speaking of issues, your husband seems to have some, hmm. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. What? Oh, well, I wouldn't want to bring it up, but since you asked, um, in February of last year, your husband won uh, Philip Dunphy was questioned at a local hotel for lewd and lascivious conduct. Oh, jeez. That's not true. Ma'am, according to this police report, he uh, broke into a stranger's room, stripped naked, and then posed provocatively on the bed. That is technically true, but in all fairness, it was Valentine's Day. Oh, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, it was Valentine's Day. I'm not sure uh, if your husband was born in this country. Oh. Perhaps he snuck in illegally, but here in America, we celebrate Valentine's Day with chocolates, not our private parts. Mm. <laughs> this is my new favorite show. Shh. No, sir. He was looking for me, his wife, and he walked into the wrong room. If you believe that, I have some talking puggles I'd like to sell you. <laughs> Do you believe this? Talking dogs? I'm skeptical. <laughs> I am glad that my opponent brought this up, as I feel that it speaks to his character more than mine. I think that we should raise the level of discourse and get back to the issues that the voters really care about. When he was naked, what were you wearing? I don't think that's relevant. Are you sex freaks? My personal life has nothing to do with this. My opponent has brought this up to distract from his own record, which shows that in, in, in six years, he has achieved nothing more than writing one ordinance that allows private parties to have more than eight dogs. Hmm. Hmm. It's like watching the Hindenburg. This is the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. Excuse me. Stand by. I am Phil Dunphy, and I am not a pervert. I, like a lot of men in this town, Enjoy making love to my wife. I mean, um, I mean with their wives. Not me, them. Look, I should probably just sit down and say nothing, but it's too late. I am standing, and I'm obviously talking, and now you're looking at me, and I feel the need to keep going. <clears throat> First of all, no charges were filed. Everyone had a good laugh about the situation. Not, not about me. Everything's fine down there. Anywho, where were we? All over YouTube. We went viral. Some sick bastard auto-tuned me. I, like a lot of men in this town, I enjoy making love to my wife, wife. And I don't know how to stop. I am a pervert, pervert, pervert. Yay, Manny! We should have...